Investigators in Clay County say children were also removed from an Orange Park home where 257 animals were found living in filth. News for Jackson reporter Janice Harris is live at the Clay County Fairgrounds where the animals are now being cared for and donations are coming in, Janice, to help these vulnerable animals. That's right, Mary. Those donations have been coming in right behind me. People have been moving, moving their cars up. They take the load out and then the donations are here just not too far away. A couple buildings down are those animals that are recovering. But we also learned today that there were at least four to five children in that home. But tonight we're told they are safe. As dozens of animals were rescued Monday morning from this property seen here through Sky 4, people wanted to help. 24 hours later, loads of food and supplies for the 257 animals that were rescued. Lisa Gibson donated. They need it. I mean, it's a little overwhelming to have that many animals come in at once. Local farmer Karen Mishkovich drove all the way from St. Augustine and plans to adopt a pet soon, too. And do you think once they get through the process, you might even rescue a couple oh, other yes. pets? Are you thinking about it? Yes, yes. My husband already said, please don't come home with anything today. I said, no, it'll be a couple weeks. He's like, I figured. <laughs> As donations pour in, the investigation continues. Animals were not the only victims. Children were living in the home, too. Are you able to comment on there being any children that live on the property? Uh, there were children on the property. They have been uh, moved to a safe location. And, um, you know, this is, uh, you know, this whole situation is just devastating. Uh, everything that's happened, that's transpired there in the last uh, couple of weeks. And we're just trying to be sensitive to the children because they're old enough to watch TV. And, and so we really have been just trying to be sensitive to them, uh, but at the same time, uh, understanding that the community uh, has, um, is aware of this house in Old Jennings Road, people that live around there, and they were gonna be asking a lot of questions. Sheriff Cook confirmed DCF is involved to investigate the safety of the children. Many questions remain about how the property became overwhelmed with so many animals and unhealthy living conditions, but the recovery period is happening and the community is here to help. And we're told that as far as they know, all of the animals have been rescued. Overnight, there were four puppies that were born. So some more good news coming out of this very difficult situation. Also, if you'd like to donate, we have a list of everything that you need to know in this story on our website, newsforjacks.com. And coming up tonight at 6, we talk about the possibility of criminal charges based upon this situation. Reporting live at the Clay County Fairgrounds, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.